Good morning for all. Hallelujah. It's a great opportunity this morning to be together and make another step toward our vision. Our vision is clear to win soul and make them disciples from the, uh, disciples from the uh, for the kingdom of God. What we saw today is great things to know that our God is alive and we are needing, needed for him reconciled and in his family and we are saved. Greatest miracle on earth is salvation. I remember my youth, I'm from Christian family, but in the age 15, around, around 16, inwardly, I, I became rebellious because of society when I grew up. And uh, just few Christians around, but millions, millions, there were, there were atheist people and communists. It's hard to, as a, as a young boy, to keep your faith when you restricted to be in college with all your friends and, uh, and be, be reproached daily. And as you are nobody in school because you believe in some kind of God, whole society don't believe in it, but you believe. In inwardly, I, I become, became doubt about it. And uh, when, when I left, uh, house of my father and my family, I stepped behind, beside the, the, the church uh, life. And it looks like, looks like a wor world was so white, but so empty daily. And shortly, spiritual bankruptcy invaded my, my heart so much, and I lost every sense for life. Looks like I had everything. As casual person, and I was respected in society, in, among my friends, but bankruptcy, spiritual emptiness was so great, and I could endure any longer. And once my dad invited me to visit with him one church, it's maybe 30 kilometer, kilometers from, or from, or from my village when I was born. And in that service, one man was prophet. And during the service, he came straight to me and prophesied to me and described all things what happened with, with my inner life. And, and God spoke through him that you are lost. But I stretch my scepter to you. If you will take, grab it, you will be saved. And few few things more. And I knew I didn't I didn't know this man, and he didn't know me. But God make these things happen, and I became saved. My wife came from not Christian family. I talk. I, I am talking about price to be to be saved. My wife, not from Christian family, and uh, not only she was lost spiritually, but in her 15, she she found herself in severe sickness of heart, and that kind of surgery cannot cannot be done in my country there, and she did, she la she was left just slowly to die in her 15. But grand, grandmother of her, in her youth, she was Christian. But because she married an Christian uh, husband, she left church too. Churches were there on the ground and had to, had to hide, hide themselves and make services during the night or, or early morning. And even when my wife became Christian, she, were, she was baptized during the winter when snow were on the ground in the river. It's not like we do over here, warm, warm water. And in her maybe, maybe 15 or 16, she was baptized during the night in cold water, snow 
everywhere and she was baptized. Uh, that's the price, pri price for, for, for Christianity. When, when she was 15 and there is no hope, not just for spirit, for salvation, but no uh, hope for her uh, health. And she, she was left behind slowly as a young girl to die. But when her, uh, her grandma and grandpa became Christian, mom and dad spe specifically, that was a severe atheist and did, didn't believe in God. Her grandpa, uh, grandma br brought her in uh, underground church during the church through the prophecy. Man of God, prophet, uh, discovered in spirit that there is a lady in third, third room. A uh, young girl needed, uh, need, needed for healing. And he came to her, didn't, didn't know in her, lay, laid hand on her and prayed for her. And immediately, in one second, fire came from, from top to bottom and she received healing. When she received healing, she received salvation, Jesus Christ, as her personal uh, Lord and Savior. But, but when her, her dad, my father-in-law, discovered that she became Christian, started to persecute her real, really severely. And, and many times, beatings, it, there is no, not, not as in America. And when you just push your number on the phone, 911, and police will be immediately at your house, there is no such a thing. And a few times, twice, he, he really drunk, brought that axe in the house, and when he drunk, he really severe, and he, and he required to her, deny your God, leave behind all your stupi religion stupidity. And if you will not do it, I will chop your uh, hand right away in this house. And when, when he raised his, his, his hand with the axe to cut her, her, her head, he became, uh, she, 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 she started to pray, pray, pray. And twice God saved her and many, many uh, different persecutions. But in the end, God saved her. And when we uh, married together, after 10 years, my father-in-law came to Christ and became preacher. Wow. What my point I want to say, biggest miracle in our life is salvation. And for salvation, people lay pay Bloody, sweaty, with the tears price today around the world. And in America, we have to appreciate in the same, same way. If, if sometimes for you need to suffer because of your salvation, remember, it's worthy. Don't be just easy with, with salvation because our life can... Uh, will end it and can end it in any moment. But uh, our body is not our soul. We have internal life. We have internal so, uh, soul. And for, for salvation of our soul paid such high price. Life and blood of Jesus Christ. That's in our church. We have clear vision to proclaim to preach the gospel and we have clear vision and strategy how to do it as a pastor i train my my young young, young uh, preachers and they do the the leader uh, leader um, meetings and train you and we believe it's will of god to extend kingdom of God, to increase it and multiply it. And we are responsible to do it. And we believe God, with God's help, it will happen. 
Thousands, thousands will come to Christ through our ministry locally and millions globally. We do all, all possible today using whole media, internet, TV, many, many things. We take people on the salary. We encourage you to do it and believe. Shortly, these services will be in a few, ser uh, few services. Is it correct? Yeah. A uh, few services. We will see new building. You are so important. Generations will come to this ministry, and you will, you will in future proudly say, I was in the beginning over here. I am as an elder. I started from scratches, but today, Blossom rapidly spread it, ministry, saving people, healing people, and delivering people. Hallelujah. Amen. Just believe it. I receive it. I prophesy it. And encourage you that will happen. Today, <clears throat> today I want to say, not easy to express my, th my, my thought uh, for you. I want to present you my thought on um, scandal of shortage or scandal because of shortage, disagreement because of limitation. It's so important for us to clearly understand how God works, to see the truth beyond the spiritual appearance, to know the reality. Do not, do not be deceived because of physical, material things. We have to see core. We, we, see, we have to see things, root, Roots of things. Devil is enemy of God and his wrath he poured on humanity, on his creation. His creation. And we are God's creation. Created is his image in his likeness. And devil, demons, his angels, which were provoked and deceived in heaven and cast from heaven, today are our enemy. But God himself commit himself, promise to save humanity, even if it is, it, it is required so high priced and amazingly, amazingly, God paid that price. And we as a church, we have to know uh, how spiritual world world works. Thought which I want to talk to you. Scandal because of shortage. Really often, I remember when one Stoven came in our parking lot and tried to to pull one car because it was parked a little bit wrong. And the uh, car was almost, almost pulled on, on, on a towing truck, but Victor came and, and, pull, and placed his car, car opposite the towing car and, say, and said, leave this car <laughs> and leave this place. Uh, and and towing car uh, truck was blocked. And we create on a parking lot over there with these guys, uh, not small, scandal. And that's people who came to take the car. I don't remember who, who this car was. And that, that guy one of the one said, hey, you, you Christian, but you are scandal people. And uh, I took for my heart, uh, for, for my heart uh, you are right. We, we are scandal people. Scandal of shortage, because of shortage. Really often, worldly people, secular people, try to label us wrongly, but we are not what they try to pretend who we are. We are so peaceful, we are so lovely, we are so good, we, are so, we yield on every corner and everything. But in reality, is not. We, we are not such a people. Uh, we, we have to know who we are. 
we have to know that we have to be, supposed to be, scandal people. We have to know what belongs to us and where we are short and limited. We have to know what belongs to us. How to achieve, how to reach that fullness which God himself created for us. As you, as you uh, heard right now uh, what, what Vladimir preached and really powerful thought that Jesus created first miracle uh, beyond the need of the people but for their p pleasure. And that's true. And how Vladimir explained this, this, this first miracle. God, God is good. When people of Israel, Israel, Israelites were in Egypt, they were in slavery a long time. But they were God's people. God gave for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob promise about land where Abraham and Jacob traveled long ago. And God say, said, I swear to you that that land belonged to your, to your descendants. But time came when Israelites became slave, slaves in Egypt and became as a nothing, as a trash. And they were they could easily to be killed. Their young boys, young bo uh, born boys, can be thrown in, in Nile, and many things. At, and it looks like that this is the children of God. In reality, this is is a nothing. It is just 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 bunch of slave people. They are restricted in every area. For us. As a people of God in last days, we have to know this truth. That the promise of God and reality are not the same. Promise of God, that this, this is the potential, uh, potential, potential, um, pos uh, potential, uh, how can I say, um, blessing. Not the fact in itself. But for the children of God, impossible to achieve without promises of God. Promises of God are so important. The word of God is so important. God reveals his character on the basis of his promises. We can know about our God, who, who he is, how he revealed himself in his promises. Beyond things that God promised for us to fulfill our needs, God promised, as Vladimir told, uh, said that uh, he, our, our pleasure and his signs and wonders through the whole history, we can see. Even that that's sign uh, which was done with wine on that, uh, on that wedding uh, place. Or when Peter walked on the water, water, it's not ne there is no such a necessity to walk on the water, but God showed such a miracle. God showed such a miracle as, as Moses took the water and, and, and poured it and its water became a blood. When Moses took his hand in his, uh, uh, under his cloth and took out, it was a leopard. And many, many, many things as a signs and wonders. They, when God demonstrated his, his might and power, but mostly is needed for us uh, things which are that's necessity, health, prosperity, uh, finances, uh, relationship, and many, many things. When God promised Israelites land of milk and honey, 
But in reality, 400 years, they were in slavery. They were robbed, discouraged, and below. They, they were restricted. Promises of God. Only, как можно сказать, I'll say, don't know. Dormant. Dormant. Promises of God lay dormant when we do not pray, when we, when we don't know about it. Four hundred years, of four, 400 years, promises of God were there. But when Israelites became scandalists, cry out to God, Situation, situation came in such a point. Mediocrity is not our portion because mediocrity is not permanent. Devil came to steal, to kill, and destroy. If we are just slowly, hardly endure from, from check to check, from uh, hand to mouth, that's, that's time is temporary. We have to remember, devil, he disregards our tears, our needs. He came to kill, to steal, and destroy. And if we have time, just, just, um, just enough, we have to remember, we, we have to quick, quickly remove from such a period of time. Because that's great Color, it's temporary. We have to move quickly from such a time. For us, belong, belongs bright colors. Success and blessing. Land of milk and honey. Houses, vineyards, and, and, and all God's blessing. When, when Israelites... Discover for themselves that promises, promises and reality not in alignment and start to pray, pray, pray. It's important for us to understand that God promised to Israelites that, he, that in the end of this captivity, this slavery time, God will lead them out with great abundance of, of riches. And they will leave nothing behind, even one hoof of enemy. Is it right hoof? Yeah. We have to remember there is, were a lot of flock, uh, how you say, flocks, flock, a lot of, and each enemy have four legs. But God himself commanded to Israelites, when you will live in future, remember, don't yield nothing. Take everything what belongs to you. And during this, um, during this, how do you say, exodus, when they, when they left Egypt, there was a great time of scandal, great time of battle, angry. Brothers and sisters, when we pray for thousands for, for Christ, when we pray for mighty movement of salvation, when we pray today for abundance of God in personal life, in your business, in your finances, in every area of your life. We have to remember, watching, observing uh, a scandal in Egypt. There is, there is was 10 plagues. In the, and these plagues were so severe. How you, how you will have answer on the on the, on, the, on the promise of God in your life. Israelites were so strict. They were so required. 
they, they require every small things. Give me back. Give me back. Every small coin, uh, sand, everything, give me back. And battling was uh, were spreaded from a long time. Plaque after plaque. When we pray, when we create that an angry atmosphere, when we became hysteric, when we uh, become, be, become, become scandalous, we have to remember God on our side. God himself wanted. When God met Moses in the wilderness, he said to him, I sent you in Egypt. Uh, deliver my people. And God and God explained him in the wilderness. Remember, that will be not easy. There will be a lot of battling. A lot of fighting. But God said, remember, do not miss one of the, even one of the old, old plaques. But imply, but beat enemy to the end until last hoof will be released. When we today pray in our church, we pray for thousands and for salvation of people, for healing, for deliverance, we have to remember God on our side. God loves people. He wants to save them. He wants to bless them. But if we will go easy when we will be fearful people, not sure that time will be prolonged. And if we will not stand for God's kingdom, if we will not stand for revival, if we will not stay, stand for, for blessing on our city, God will take another, another ones. God will find, but as he promised in last day, he will pour out his spirit on every flesh. And everyone who will call upon the Lord will be saved. God will find another people. But I don't want that we will be uh, for, forgotten. I believe we will be those people who will be used in last day to see salvation, 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 healing, healing, and deliverance in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Scandal because of shortage, of shortage. We have to be scandalous. Do you know, it's hard to be scandalous when you don't know what, what is fullness. When I came to, to, to Africa, and when I, when I uh, uh, go, go to shower, to, to, take, uh, to take shower, and there, there is no uh, hot water, Warm, and there is no water, and I, I was ready to, to, to raise my, my scandal because whole week with a cup of water I took the, uh, the shower. Why, why I was in disagreement there? Because I know what is fullness. When I met on the street, when uh, a line of men and a line of women uh, washing their, their uh, clothing by the hand in these bowls and change the water. I was, I was really, uh, uh, really scandalous. Why? Because I came from, from country. There is so easy things is done. You cannot be scandalous if you don't know fullness. You will not know where you are, where you are deceived if you don't know who you are indeed, what belongs to you, what can be out from you, from your home, from your family, from your destiny, for, for, for your marriage. If you don't know your fullness, you cannot be scandalous. You cannot come in your anger and say, give me back what belongs to me. Give me that that's field, give me this honey, give me that milk, give me that house. But, but when you know your fullness, when you know 
what money belong to your pocket, then you can be angry. Then you can be scandalous and, and, and reveal your disagreement. Give me mine what belong to me. That's what Israelites did in Egypt when they discovered. If you remember story, if you remember story of Daniel when he was in captivity in Babylon, and this long time when they were uh, so, so so discouraged and restricted in that captivity, he wrote book of Jeremiah. And if he found there, search out what belonged to the children of God. And he found, reading his prophecy, that captivity will, will prolong 70 years. And when 70 years were, were ended, Daniel searched out and he found, it's done. My time, it's already passed. I have to live in different situation. And he, and he turned him, himself in prayer and fasting and required from God. If you looking for deliverance, not long ago I talked with my with my one of my relatives here from different church. And he is my relative and I invite him from Ukraine a account that he will him, uh, help me here to, to build this church because that vision was in my heart and what I see and require from my youth uh, pastors I, I, I invest in them that strong desire that belief that thousands will come to Christ through their ministry I invite him and when we talk and I, I said to him Bible says that we have to know schemes of devils, devil demons, and uh, we have to know not just his deeds, drugs, alcohol, divorces, uh, same-sex marriages, many, many things, but Bible requires from us that we know his scheme, how devil think. And I said, how you can know spiritual world, how demons works think their strategy if you never observe casting of demons when you never see how demons how demons gave up their inter information how they works you can you can be deceived live in delusion if you do not do not do not know the spiritual world to know your fullness, observe spiritual world. Because demons, when they are kept, kept uh, by, the, by the fire of God, by the Holy Spirit, usually they dis, uh, give up in information. Oh, I possess him because I saw his star. In future he will be a millionaire. That's I want to capt capture him. To know who you are not only bible teach explain you who you are but demons knows who you are that's why they pursue you try to capture you to know our shortage we have to know our fullness to know our limitation you have to first to know live in another me, uh, uh, world of promises of God. You have to know about your promises. About your milk and honey. You have to know that house which promised you. That car which pro promised you. You have to know where is you limited. If you will not you know your fullness. Your... your, uh, your your accomplishment in Christ. You cannot know where you're short, where you're limited. That's why so important such a services when we today talk about it, about it openly. And that's why 
I they uh, every service require that in our services testimony will be rolled every services that you could see clearly that that's uh, that disease another one another one that's drug drug addict that's alcoholic that's broken family everything have God miraculously can save people and and restore them to their their fullness. That's, we want to, that's from the young to the oldest in our church. You can dwell, that you dwell, you abide in, in the world of your promises. Because if you don't know that's your desire, if you don't know that's world which promised, it's easy for me to find out what is wrong in Africa because daily I live in America. I know how it works. I, I know when I was in a capital city and, and heard of, of cows uh, go to, together with the cars, it's really hard. It'd be so, so long horn, horns and then any car can, uh, any, any cow can, can literally easily pierce your, your door or your window. In us, as in America, I know what is wrong there because I am living in a better world. To be a scandalist, that's why devil's purpose to quench your scandal, to quench your prayer, to quench your fasting. That's devil knows when you pray. Angels of God released. When you pray, God find Moses in wilderness and command him, go there and deliver my people. Deliver this, this family. Deliver this, this marriage. Deliver that business where, each, where he is occupied by demons. Release that, that person. Heal that person. We are not peaceful people with devil, with demons. We are scandalist. Do not afraid. Pray. Do not give up. Pray and ask for biggest miracle, salvation of souls. That's why we have in every, uh, every day, five, five in the morning, prayer time. This is not shame. This is not just you so wicked, you get so weak. No, it's people, rebellion people against demons and requiring, give me that, that house, give me that car, give me that, that beautiful marriage, that family, turn me back, give me this, this, this land. When, when we pray, God himself will answer. By prayer, we see thousands of people will be saved. Through the prayer, we see, we see service of after service. It's not only prayer, but it's pushing. All demons of hell, they scared of us. We know who we are in Christ Jesus. We know that God himself rejoice when we are scandalous against demons because he command us cast out these demons who tried to belittle children of God. When Daniel start to pray, start to pray and God himself respond his prayer. His prayer. Oh, I want to finish, I want to finish here. To know your limitation daily, abide in your full, uh, fullness, in your imagination, watching, watching testimonies. My advice to you, there is on YouTube many ministries, prophets, and we already we already have plan to have crusade 
in April next year. And uh, that's we already have agreement. Wise man John Chi will come in three city to make three days of crusade. Let's give God <laughs> kind of clap. Pray for school, uh, Bible school. When our people, it's not just church, but it's movement. People will be saved. People will be delivered. We have a few days from now a conference. When we, when we, when we will, will pray for it, when we will declare it, prophesy it, and your presence and your involvement are required. Be strong. Be disagree with your shortage, your limitation. God with you. God came to Gideon in his limitation. There is no way out, but God stood himself, angel of God, and said, I will be with you. And with these 300 of people, freedom and deliverance came. That's in our church. We want to see every time manifestation of God, God's power, I mean God's fullness.